What's going on, tutors? It's 6 o'clock in the morning, West Coast Pacific time. Snuh-uh. Excuse the noise outside. Respect my preference on the skin tone, nickel. <laughs> What is it with these full grown men who have a problem with another man's preference? Or if he happens to like a sister of a particular skin tone. Now, I mentioned this in one of my videos last year. What was the name of it? Uh, black men shouldn't be too selective on sisters. And in that video, there were some things that I had uh, said. And let me clarify something. The reason why I made that video was because I was irritated and annoyed by some of the sisters on these dating sites that will hit me up with messages and they'll be overly aggressive when you don't respond to them because they'll happen to be way off the radar, meaning they're not my cup of tea. You know what I mean? As men, we're visual creatures. I don't know how many times I have to explain that, especially with females. I gotta tell them that shit all the time. We're visual creatures. So, you have two heads. My noggin up here. And that head down there. Sometimes they don't think the same. Sometimes they have to be on the equal playing field when it comes to dating on a serious tip. So when I'm getting flooded with messages from sisters that's way off the radar that I don't even, like by physical, that I'm not even attracted to, you know what I mean? Every man should have his own preference and every man should be able to be selective you know what I'm saying that's what I was saying in that video now a fellow youtuber a popular youtuber that I actually still support mr. Robert Perkins he put up a video well actually uh, it was a show that he had and uh, I watched it some things I don't agree with him on what he was saying in the actual show and uh, but nine times out of ten most of the time I rock with him now he had mentioned something that uh, made me really think and I didn't even go off the handle It just was one of those things where the brother was right. I had no choice but to <laughs> respect what he was saying. Man, Birdman should make a lot of money off that shit because uh, everybody's saying that in their videos right now. Rob had mentioned... Uh, People need to watch what they say when they throw their personal preference out there. It can have an effect on young black girls and women. And it can cause them to probably be in the same situation just like Little Kim. On what she was speaking on on this show. With her uh, self-hate on how she changed her skin color and everything. 
I haven't seen Lil' Kim lately. I know that like maybe a year or two, maybe like a year ago or two years ago, I seen her on a, uh, was she on the Breakfast Club? If I'm not mistaken. Or Angie Martinez show. I'm not sure. But I seen her then and I was like, oh my gosh, because I didn't know. She looked like a total different person. Like she looked like an Asian lady with like a round face and real light skin. She looked like a total different person. And it looked weird as fuck. I don't mean to say it like that, but it did. When she was brown skinned, I always thought Lil' Kim was cute. Even though she was rapping about freaky shit when she first came out and stuff like that. And I still found her to be very attractive back then. I don't know why she would change herself like that. But anyways, back to what Rob was saying. I agree with the brother on that. So now, with my actual personal likes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, on certain black women's skin tone, which I said before, caramel, red bone, you know what I'm saying, that's all I'm used to. I'm going to start keeping that to myself now. I ain't going to speak on it no more. It's just that in my other video from last year, I was like really pissed off that every time I go into my inbox, then some sister that's way off the radar, not my type at all, by physical, is aggressively sending messages through my inbox and saying things like, hey, like, 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 or, or saying things like, I sent you a message and I get no reply. What's up with that? Like leaving little questions like that or you can check your message but you can't reply, huh? Like shit like that. And I'm like, in my mind I'm thinking like by force, you trying to make me take an interest to you? That's how I see it. I respect that brother's opinion for saying what he said, you know what I mean? Because think about that. People have children, little girls. You know, what if they go through life thinking that they're not good enough, that they're too dark, you know? That can have an effect on them. And so, I want to take it upon myself to certain things like that when it comes to skin tone. I'm going to try my best to not even speak on it or make these YouTube videos about it. Now, I see sisters on here freely. They don't give a fuck. They just putting out there that they like white men. And that's their preference and that's what they choose to date and marry. Well, it doesn't bother me. Their preference doesn't bother me at all. You know what I mean? I could care less. But... Rob made sense when he said that as far as we need to watch what we say because it can drive a person into self-hate mode where they change their skin tone just to look like somebody else. All right, then tubers, feel free to sub and I'll catch you guys on another one. Shh, nuh -uh.